Coming up on the Guinnessers in Dublin. Sean and I get more than we bargained for. Bondage. Bondage? Ooh, that'd be interesting. I describe my dream woman. It's just, it's still thick and it's just, oh, it just looks me fucking out. Sean gives me a final warning. There's a yellow card for Charlie anymore and it's going to be red. And as we sample some of the finest pints we've ever had, I can't waste a drop. God. You know, I don't want to waste it, so. Oh, Charlie, don't. We made it, Sean. We're here. We are in Dublin. We're in Dublin. The home. The home. Of Guinness. Of Guinness. Is it Guinness time? It's always Guinness yeah. time. Certainly you, in Dublin. You don't have to put your watch away today, Sean. No. It's, it's going to be out all day. Always Guinness time in Dublin. So I know for a fact we're just going to get creaminess everywhere we go. So we're not going to have to worry. We're not, it's not like Lee's. Nope. Honestly, I just feel so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just can't hide <sighs> it. So it is, what time is it now? It is quarter past 11 in the morning. We've just stopped off for a nice Costa. Yeah. Um, just to just get us going. And now we've made a little plan of the day, a bit of plan of action. Um, a few of your recommendations. So thank you very much. So we're going to hit now our first pub and uh, see where we go from Where there. are we going first? We're off to the Brazen Head, Sean. Off to the Brazen Head. So yep. there's the Liffey. That's where all your Guinness came from. Yeah. So, you know, folklore had it. I'm not sure it was true, but there we go. Right. Yeah, let's get in let's there, get Sean. There. I'm thirsty. And do it. Cheers. Come on, follow us. This is it, guys. The Brazen Head, the oldest pub in Ireland, that's what the sign says. One of the oldest pubs in Ireland, definitely. Yeah. There's a lot that profess that. Here we are though, our first pub of the day. In Dublin. Can't wait Very for excited. our first Guinness. Let's Come get in there, Sean. The tourists are piling in already. Literally, yeah. gates open and everyone's swarming in. So Come let's on. get in there before it gets too busy. Yeah. Right, Sean, we're here in the we Brazen are. Head. We're here. We've made it. We've made it. First pint of the day. It's looking all right. It's looking, Looks I feel like the, okay. head, the head could be a little bigger. A little bigger. The dome it's could be a little bigger. Bad. It's okay. Come on. It's old style glass because we were in Dublin, Sean. We're in um, Ireland. It, this is what you're going to get in Ireland yeah. now. You know, this is the standard, and I'm very happy. Tom's pint looks better than mine. It does. That's got a really nice dome. Yeah, that's it. got the best dome. But you know. Anyway, we've got to get on with this because the dome does settle if we're not, you know, if we take it too long. Oh, that was dense. Very. Listen. Oh, <laughs> that's dense. Right. Come on. Oh. Oh. You split the G? Split the G. I haven't. Slightly off. Oh, that's beautiful. Tell you what, I was worried because the head didn't look very big. But that is creamy, Sean. Is that creamy. already trumps it's nice. all the Guinness that I've, I can think of in the UK. Maybe bar Mulligans, maybe? Well, we're in Ireland, generally. Oh. So. But this is our first pint, so sometimes we get a little carried away, a little too excited. Yeah, I mean the first pint's always going to be, yeah. I mean, we've been waiting for this for hours, I'm going to be honest with you, we got here, we landed at about half nine in the morning, so um, we've been very thirsty all morning. But we're here now, Sean, and I'm very much enjoying that. Yeah. Let's go for another. It's not, I don't want my socks off no. as much as I thought it might. It's a bit brown. But we are like the first, this is probably like the first Guinness yeah. that's been poured today. Yeah. So that might have a... That might be the reason why. Might have a the guy behind the bar, absolutely fantastic. He's a gem, very polite, very welcoming. It's funny this place, we've been waiting for it to open, haven't we? And as soon as the gates open, there's yeah. hundreds of people queuing yeah. up to get in. Yeah, it's pouring it's in. mental. So yeah. it's a very famous pub. They do well with the tourists. Um, I don't know about whether the locals come in here or not. Yeah, I, I presume they do. But yeah, this is probably more of a, a, a 
a, a tourist yeah. attraction, isn't it, than, than your local ones? But it's, it's great. You know, it, it looks it, like it, I mean, it's authentic. It's great. Yeah, love it. You know, it looks like it's on everybody's list who visits. This is probably one of the big, the big places they all head for, isn't it? And you can understand why. Yeah, it's a great Guinness. If I had that pint in the UK, I would oh, drink it all day. Yeah, I would. I would. Um, but I suppose because I'm in Dublin, yeah, I'd probably try somewhere else just because there's a million, we've million pubs. Right, and and we're sport for choice is a problem. We've got, we've got, a, you know, a handful of pubs yeah. we can only go to because obviously we've got a limited amount of time. And so ideally, I'd love to just stay here for about a month yeah. and just cut around Dublin, right. drinking. Just keep doing it. So we've covered every pub in Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> nice but, thing is, old glass beer mats. What more could you ask for? Yeah, lovely. Yep, you're taking Thank a few you. of them home. Beer mats, not glasses. Yeah, don't steal glasses, lads, because that's why you end up getting served John Smith glasses. It's not what you want. Good stickage. Very good. <coughs> good. A bit brown. Yeah, maybe slightly brown. Maybe the lighting in here. It's, uh, we haven't got our light on today, have we? There's no twang in this one, is there? No, flavour. Yeah. Spot on. Flavour. Spot on. No, it's got it all no there. twang. And I don't think, I'll be honest, I'll be very surprised if we, if, if, if the twang makes any appearance today. It's lovely cream. No twang. You've got better taste buds than me. You yeah. pick up on all the flavours. Mm. They're all there. There's yeah. nothing I can say bad about that pint, to be honest, because the flavours are all there. I'm even tasting them. Sean's even tasting the flavours. I'm even tasting them. But I have, you know, refreshed with water, <coughs> just to let the wife know I've been drinking water in between. It's been very sensible. Yeah, it's been very sensible. No, it was a it was a reasonably creamy finish. Oh my god. What it should look like. In the UK, I would probably put that up there with one of the one of the better pints. I'd say that's in the in the lamp tavern, yeah. you know, because that was like the best in, in Birmingham. To be fair, it's close I think it, it's like a Mulligan's pint. Yeah. Manchester Mulligans? I, I think that is maybe ever so slightly colder. Yeah. And aesthetically, obviously, the head was a bit smaller, but yeah. I, that usually in the UK that would mean yeah. it's not really creamy, but it was yeah. still creamy. We're looking for the lovely heads, white heads with the lovely domes. Not quite got that here, but these were the first pints. Yeah. So I reckon you know maybe if you return later on in the day, yeah. it'd probably be maybe a bit better. I don't know. Live music here later on. You know, it's a great place to come, have something to eat, have a few drinks, mm. and get this. Yeah, lovely food music here as well is very nice. I yeah. came here a couple of years ago yeah. and the food was banging as well. We had Irish coffee. Irish spot coffee's on. Are spot on. So, top notch. Yeah. Eight point three. Eight point three. Well, I had in my head an eight. A straight eight. For me, an eight is fantastic pint. You know, hopefully it can only get better, but for me, definitely an eight. It is a great pub. Everybody comes here, all the visitors, all the tourists, all head for this pub. I can understand why. So yeah, I'm going to stick with the straight eight for me. My socks are still on. I have brought a lot of socks with me today because I expected my socks to get blown off left, right and centre. Oh, they're today. going to. They're going yeah. to. Definitely. So, um, but uh, I think they're still on for now. Well, yeah. I think that's that done, Sean. Yeah. Brazen Thanks, head. Brazen head. Thank you very much. Lovely. You've not disappointed us. I don't know Thank where we're going next, but we shall see. Yeah. And you'll see. So keep following us. Yeah. And I'll see you in the next one. Mulligans, Charlie. We've made it. We're here. Look at that, looks cool, doesn't it? Look Loving it. Was it. Oh, look at that. Is it like made of wood? What is that? Is it wood? No, it's not. It's like painted to look like it's it. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool, though, isn't it? Established in 1782. Well, that's going back a bit, isn't it? Well, they do whiskey, they do... What's Bonder? What's Bonder? So this was before Guinness. Who? What's Bonder? Bonder? Bondage. Bondage? Ooh, that'll be interesting. <laughs> do you know what? 1782? That's what I'm saying. That's before Guinness. No, 1759, isn't it? Oh, of course, yeah. Fucking hell. Look, Jesus. Call yourself a Guinness, sir. Uh, sure. That last pint's gone straight to the head. Um, right, okay, so that looks good. So we're here, yeah. let's just try it out. We've had a lot of good recommendations. Even the manager in the brazen head said, I recommend yeah. the Mulligans. 
Uh, so let's go in, let's try it, Sean. Yeah. It looks good, it looks let's authentic, it, it looks it's nice. Like a good yeah. pint is on its way. Let's so try let's it. try it, Sean. Come on in, guys. We're here at Mulligan's. It's looking very good. Very nice. Right. That's got a cracking dome on it. Let's have a little look at this then. Mulligans, what we saying? Oh, fucking hell, Sean, that is looking Looks creamy. Good. I, I can't wait. Here right. we go. It's got the dome. Slancha. Old style glass. Hello, baby. Hello. Come to Papa. Oh, my. Split the G, guys, yet again. I mean, the tash is the creamiest, I think, it possibly it's ever felt. You've got some tash now. That's certainly grown. Oh, it's all the Guinness. All the creamy yeah. head of the dome. I just he love it. loves them. collecting the cream. I'm going to have to get the red card out for you, Charlie. You <laughs> carry on. You're the one that said it. <laughs> get out for yourself. You can't have a straight red. No. It's two yellows and then it's a red. Then right, you're out. Okay. I'll save it then. Not only did I split the deep in, I believe. And me. Yep. And you, we did it because yeah, yeah. we're just we're just fucking G's, mate. Honestly, yeah, we're, we're just we're just the split the G's, boys. We are we are the G's. I mean, are. you know, if we ever if we ever release a band, our, our name would be yeah the, the the splitting G's. I was in a band once called well, I was called Rigor Mortis G because that was the only note I could play. Yeah, you could only play chord. you could only play the G chord. You're yeah. like right next chord, Shawnee Black. No, you're still on the G. So Rigor Mortis G. And that's why he's the singer and player, not me. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're talking about the Guinness. Yeah, the I can't Guinness. believe we've not really talked about it yet. But yeah. let's have this. Let's just have a look at that. You, you can't see through the Guinness glass. That is exactly nice it. colour head. It's this, per yeah, perfect, Sean. Perfect. It's better than the last one. So Definitely. this is just Sean, getting better and this, better. This, this, after that first swig, is one of the best swigs. First swigs I can remember. I'm going to go for a second and I'll see if it can carry on being as good it, as I think it could be. It, it, well, I have had a second and it's just getting better and better as you go down it. It's got the richness. <laughs> yeah. Um, because, you know, it's Guinness, you know, they, they, they can, people complain and say, oh, Guinness, oh, it doesn't taste of anything. It's bland compared to other stouts. No. If you get a good Guinness, you'll taste you've got, all that stuff yeah, coming through. Yeah, and what I like about Guinness is it's not too overpowering, so it's not too strong yeah. that you get yeah. sick of it. You, yeah. don't, you don't get sick of it. It's just a perfect balance of, of, of the, the flavours. And People see it, on. don't they, as a, as a stout and, and, and think it's going to be really heavy. It's not. No. That's lovely and yeah. light and creamy and just yeah. absolutely gorgeous. But By the way, uh, a fella from Nashville called Chris yes. paid for these. Chris. So thank you very much, Chris. Yeah, cheers, Chris. Thank you very much. He's very kindly sent over some dollars yep. for, for our pints again. So, Chris, cheers. An absolute beauty. So, um, Chris, you've bought the best pint we've yeah. had in a long time. So, thank you for that. Chris would like to come and join us for a drink, but unfortunately, he lives in Nashville. And one day, we hope to get out there and have a drink with him. But in the meantime, keep sending the money, Chris. I'll keep drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers, Chris. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Belsa. When I find a good pub in England, yeah. I'm sat there going, oh. We've got to leave, and then it's probably going to be shit yeah. somewhere else. But here in Dublin, I'm quite happy to have this pint. I'm quite happy to move on, knowing full well that there's going to be another creamer on yeah. the way. I'm going to put it out there, Sean. Come on. I might have to put another pair of socks on. Oh, <gasps> seriously? Is this getting very close to my, blowing my, your socks My off? socks are quivering right now. Let me have one more swig, and let's see what happens. Well, I've got my Guinness socks on. Well, no, I can't show them yet, but they are Guinness socks. I've also got my Guinness underpants on. Have you? But I'm not showing you so them. Full out. I have got my Guinness socks on. Uh, yeah. Call us sad bastards, call yeah. us because no one's going to see them, but they're yeah. there and we yeah. know they're yeah. there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. And we love our Guinness socks. I just noticed there was that much cream oh, on my tash then, a bit fell off onto the oh table. Oh my god. You know, I don't want to waste it, so. Oh, Charlie, don't. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. You don't know what's We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I'll, I'll just wipe it off. Yeah, that's better. No. You uh, finished yours? Oh my sure. god. Look at that. Look at that beauty. 
And you, you know it's creamy when the lacing just looks dense on the glass. It's just, it's still thick and it's just, oh, it just looks ooh, fucking out. That's what you want. The cream in that. Oh, and look, but look, it's probably gorgeous. a bit more. You can probably get a bit more out of that. Oh, I want some more. I'm sorry, <sighs> Mulligans of Manchester. Absolute beautiful pint of Mulligans of Manchester. But yeah. that tops it. Mulligans in Manchester. Love your pints in there. Certainly for the UK, one of the best pints we've ever had. But compared to this Mulligans in Dublin, apparently there's two Mulligans in Dublin. This is the one you want to go this to. This is the one you want to come to, certainly. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, come on. A 9.5. Do you know what? I, I, I have nine in my head. I'm giving it a nine. But you said it was better than Mulligans in Manchester. We gave that a nine. Yeah, but that's UK, isn't it? Score's a score. Why are my hands still up? <laughs> we give them a... Well, so, well, okay, okay. If we're doing that, you we, see... We, we can't give a UK score and an Ireland score. We've just got to give a, a, a score because then it just gets confusing. Right. Well, what did we give Powers in Dunmore East? I gave it a 9.9. .9. Right, yeah. I, went, I, I did get... Maybe went a bit over the top right. of it. But right. I was happy, okay. And I'm happy now, but... Yeah. Um, 9.5 for me. Yeah. I'm going to agree with you, Charlie. I'm going to go for a 9.5, as you said, because I gave a 9 to Mulligans in Manchester. I could drink that all day. All I week, could maybe. Drink that all day. Yeah. And all week. And all night. And every weekend. I just love it. We're in a second pub. We've got a lot of pubs to look forward to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, honestly, absolutely beautiful. Mulligans. Beautiful pint. 9.5. Guinness <laughs> Hills. Guinness Hills score. We've, yeah. we've, we've averaged Straight. it. 9.5. Thank you so much, Mulligans. For again producing a fantastic pint of Guinness. Yeah. I don't know how this can get better. Yeah, because can this be topped? I've heard that Bose yeah. is potentially the best Guinness. I've heard that uh, Grave Diggers yeah. is also obviously very highly rated. But can they beat this bastard? Because this was very, very, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. I would like to see today, if we can, hopefully we will, a lovely white head with a perfect dome. If we get that, then we're going to get into the yeah. tens. Yeah, we're going to be scoring tens. Could we? Could there ever be a ten? We said probably not, but... I, yeah, I, maybe. We don't, Do you we know? don't know, because we score powers at... Wouldn't it be great to get a ten in Dublin? Island, yeah. We? But, um, yeah, we, we might be able to... You see, Ireland's, you know, there's lots of pubs in Ireland, and, and yeah, we're in Dublin, but there's lots of other places we'd love to visit. You know, Kinsale, Westport, places like that. Yes. You had a great point in Westport. Didn't I you? did indeed, yes. I was almost sad that the cameras weren't there because yeah. it was an absolute beauty. Yeah. Yeah. But that's for another day. Maybe one day we will yeah. head over to Westport. But yeah. uh, anyway, Mulligans, thank you very much. Cheers. See you in the next one. Lovely pints. See you later. Well, well we're on our way to Bose. Bose. Recommended by a lot of people on Instagram. Yeah. And also by one of the uh, guys, the managers in. The brazen head. The brazen head. Even yeah. he said that is where this is all where the staff go, yeah. isn't it? If they want a good Guinness, that's the pub they go to. So you can't ask for a better recommendation than no. that, can you? So, so yeah, looking forward to this one. Yeah. I think it's going to be nice. Just around the corner. Can't wait. Um, feeling refreshed. Had a little light lunch mm. in the local cuisine of um, an oh, Irish God. place called um, McDonald's. Mc, Mc, Mc something, yeah. wasn't it? That is Look gorgeous. at the sign. Look at the clock. Brilliant, oh, it? I'm liking this. We'll see how it goes. I'm expecting nine plus in this one. Let's go in. Come on in, Fingers lads crossed. and lassies. Let's have a go. Wow. Dublin, Dublin, Dublin. My, I'm looking at this. My penis is Dublin. Sean. Is it? Oh, stop <laughs> that now, Charlie. Seriously, where's that card? <laughs> <laughs> this is it now. This is it. It's got to be it. Oh, what an intro. To this it's a yellow one. card for Charlie. Any more, and it's going to be red. Oh, I've already had two yellows. I'll leave so it there, just in case. You might have forgotten you already gave me a yellow. Uh, anyway, look at this, Sean. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's larger. It's larger. We're here in Bowes. Highly recommended. That is the best looking part of the day, Sean. Certainly is. Did Chris pay for this one as well? 
Uh, yes, he's paid for two. Oh, I see. Him. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris. Cheers Absolute again, Chris. Legend. Best pint so far. Uh, getting yeah. better. Well, we've not tried it yet, but it is the best looking. So yeah, let's definitely. get in there, Sean. <sighs> Sean, I've got the hat trick. You've split the G again. I, d I wasn't going for it, so I haven't split it. Three in a row. Yeah. <sighs> That's what we're saying here. Sean. That is the best pint I have had in a long time. Creamy. What are you saying? Come on, give me your opinion, Sean. This is certainly the creamiest pint I've had today. Mm -hmm. Well, in fact, I would for concur. a long time. Temperature, spot on. Clean, yeah. proper, traditional glass. Spotless glass, not a mark on it. Spotless glass. You're getting the flavours in this one. I don't know what it is about this in Dublin, but the flavours of the Guinness are really, really it's, it's very, prominent. They're coming out, aren't they? It's very rich. Mm. Rich. It's, there's just more flavour than you get. UK, all of a sudden, just feels a lot more bland. Yeah. And I almost got used to that taste. But now, no, I'm having taste it. in the taste. I used to just think it was maybe just a bit creamier in, oh. in Dublin, but it's not. The flavour's just richer. And I'm not just saying this. I know, I don't want to sound like I'm talking out my arse here. It is, it's, it's richer, it's creamier, definitely. Yeah. smoother, yeah. it's everything you want. Yeah, everything to me, it's about appearance. I'm terrible when I'm blindfolded, as some of you will know, because oh. for me it's a visual thing, Guinness. If it looks right, then you're expecting high things. Yeah. But that can that look catch right. off it guard can. sometimes. Because yeah. like, sometimes he goes, oh, that looks great one. Yeah. I mean, so when dead. it looks like that, usually you know it will you be know, right. it's going to be. But horrible. sometimes it can look like a yeah. decent pint and it just tastes like utter arsehole. But this is the opposite of that. Oh, did we maybe go too high with Mulligans because this... Well, this is it. You see, I said to you, didn't I? You know, we are in Ireland and starting off with high marks, it, yeah. it's a tricky one. Maybe we should have gone for like a 9.2 or something. Maybe, but... We, it's done, scores are locked in. We can't right. be messing around. No. I mean, it was very nice. Yeah, nothing, I think nothing. I started on a nine. nine. Yeah, you said yeah. nine, maybe. You taught me up. You should have come down with me to a nine, because this... Mm. But it was better than Mulligan's. I'd say that was probably 9.3, okay. but it's right. done. We've re re reviewed it's that. It's done. But you know, it's not sticking to the glass like Mulligan's did. Well, yours is. Yours looks better, actually. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, I don't know. I can't even say you've messed around with it, because you've not... Look at the draw, maybe. Ah. Maybe, Possibly, maybe yeah. your glass just has a bit more detergent in it or something. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I absolutely love this pub. This, you know what? If, if I could like envisage a pub in Dublin, it would be this. It's old, like old, like, kind of almost like Victorian style mm. pub. It's like nothing seems to have been changed or altered probably in yeah. years, and it just feels so authentic. Yeah. It's got the little like booth sections off yeah, there. Lovely pub. I love these like red seats. Yeah. And the, you know, the stools, the tables, yeah. the bar itself, the lights. I mean, the big air, air conditioning unit. Yeah. Obviously, you know, it's, it's got to be done, unfortunately. It's but. not full of tourists, is it? No, and that's it's, it. It's quiet. Just the locals in here today. It's quiet. So that's, that's what cool. you want, though. Yeah. I mean, maybe not for the pub, they want it to probably be busy. Oh my god. There's half a glass of cream in that. Oh, sure. That was <laughs> delicious. That was the creamiest finish I've had yet. Oh. To be fair, it is the creamiest finish. <laughs> Look, there's still loads of cream in the bottom of that. I've got cream dripping all my around my chin. That's what I she just, said last night. I realised what I, I halfway through that sentence I realised what I said. And you know what? I'm not even gonna back down on that because there was cream dripping down my chin. You know what I mean? Yellow card for that one, Sean. You're on. You're on your warning. I'll tell you what, though, Sean. I have to say the Guinness has been great, but I'd say this is a little greater. It certainly is. It's a little greater. Okay. So you happy now? Yeah, I'm happy. Very nice Guinness, Sean. I think that is the nicest of the day. It's the creamiest of the day. It was the most aesthetically pleasing of the day. The pub is my favourite of the day. It's just fucking. Who is great. it? The pub's your favourite of the day? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it is. We've had three so far, including this one. Oh, it's the best pint of the day. Um, the pub's a little bit too quiet for me. 
Yeah, but I want a bit more atmosphere. Yeah, a bit maybe more a bit more, bit more crack in it. Nine point seven. Yeah, nine point seven. And you agree on that? Seven. Nine point seven, definitely. Nine point seven. It's, it's got to be. Yeah, this is it's fucking yeah. beautiful, mate. That is getting close to the best pint that yeah. we've had, really. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely, 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 lovely. Take a bow, bows. Yeah. bows. Take a bow. We'll take a bow. I think they just did. Yep. Yeah. So all the. Uh, the barman around here, the managers or whatever, this mm. is where they come. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. obviously know it's the best Guinness yeah, around. Best so, Guinness. Yeah. Best Guinness. You know, um, do you know what? We've got the grave diggers to do yet, and that, you know, is all over the yeah. bloody internet about well, being it. the best Guinness yeah, in yeah, Ireland. Yeah. So, yeah. let's see but, but if let's we can see, get a 10. Uh, let's see if we can beat it because I think this is going to be very difficult, difficult to beat. Yeah. Yeah. Is it going to be better? I don't. I, do, I can't see it personally, Sean. No. I can't see how grave diggers. Grave triggers. Grave triggers. Grave, diggers. I've already had three pints. Fucking hell. John grave Cavanas, diggers. is it? Yeah. So that's the original yeah. name. Yeah. yeah. And then they call it grave diggers because it's an extra graveyard where oh. all the grave diggers would go in to drink their pints. Oh right. Okay. Um, yeah. Little backstory there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we might try and have a little word with uh, maybe the barman yeah. in there as well. Have a bit of a little chat. Have we got to get a Hoover? Um, I don't know if they do Hoobers in Dublin. Oh, they do. I've seen Hoobers. Yeah, I've oh. seen them driving around. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get get a Hoover. Hoover. We might get a Hoover. Two grave diggers. Two grave diggers. Um, yeah. But in the meantime, guys, yeah, if you want a 9.7 pint of Guinness, bows. Yeah. Beautiful, mate. There you go. See you in the next one. Yeah. I've spotted. Can't for it. Yeah. Sorted. Still to come on Dublin Part 2. We write ourselves a new theme tune. We'll move into Dublin, where the Guinness glistens in the glass, where the barmaids Whatever. show their ass. We go on a ghost hunt. Oh, As I am now, so you will be prepared yourself and follow me. I keep getting these things down my neck. It's little spooky. Chills. Yeah. Yes. We have a fascinating chat with a local. We will be there prepared. Half cooked, we prepared. It's all the preparation. And as we finally get a taste of the famous Gravedigger's pint, things come to a bitter end. Oh, red, red card, Charlie. Red card, Charlie.